reviews, I'm gonna show you a couple other attractions that I, I personally like to do with, with patients uh, in the face down position. And I'm just gonna show you traction because this, I do this on almost every visit uh, to every single body because of like, especially low back issues. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of low back issue they have, I'm gonna be doing this because this decompresses the spine. So let's go into your belly. Um, we'll, we'll do that and then we'll, we'll finish off. Yeah. So, so there's a couple ways we can do this. First thing is we can kind of stabilize the, the pelvis here. So we're pushing down. Like not, um, we're, we're not doing just straight down, we're doing inferior. As you can tell, it's not like this. And we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna just cross our arms and going up. So as I lean into you, so what we're doing is we're just doing a little bit of attraction. As I lean into you, I'm not using my arm, well I am, but I'm not using my arms, I'm using my, my body weight. You can feel that. And then I'll go to one hip and one side. Look, you just adjusted there. And again. <laughs> so that's just one way. I personally love this way where I'll take my hand on the disc level. I'll scoop in a little bit and I'll just traction down. So I'm pulling up, doing the same thing, but I'm just traction down. I'll go to one side of the spine. I'll work my way up. I can be really isolated if I want, like right there. And I can just push and hold. I might even stay there and I'll just switch both sides. I might do an opposite side of, just to help see where like, I see like, more restriction in the spine. Or if I really want to be more localized to like that L4, L5 disc, I'll just kind of like stay here. I'll just kind of like wiggle back and forth. And I'll just do this. You'll get a little hip traction in there too. Feels re um, one thing you'll still, they will say is, I feel a deep, dull, achy stretch, which is what, what you feel. That's that's okay. As long as you're doing it gentle enough where you're getting results, but um, hard enough that you feel the, the effect. So it really does feel good. Um, so that's that's one way to get a, a spinal traction. So I'll have you do it on him and then full flip and then we should be done. So the first way was this one. Cross one. So you place your hand like on the top of the sacrum, very nice and firm. And all you're going to do is think about pulling this apart. Like scissor, and then yeah, see how you do it. How's that feel? Good. So really what you're doing is separating the surface in between. And then I'm gonna have a patient. So you wanna create like tension in the skin a little bit because you want to feel that the skin glide up and then stick. Does that make sense? So you're, so like if I see the skin do this, right, which is what all our skin does, now I push down and I pull up and now the skin doesn't slide any further. You can even feel it like this, the traction. So so that's what you want to do um, right there. So maybe with him, like in, in going through your shirt it might be a little harder, but like that's why I like the other one better, but that's my personal opinion. So, uh, this one. But you feel how like my hand sticks to you? It's like a, I always say frog on a lily pad, right? Like a, like a bug, it's really just bug on a leaf. Like I'm not, I'm not leaving off of this. I'm just stuck. And then I'll work my way down. So I'll have you do it. It feels really nice. So start a little lower and kind of scoop in again. Yes, it's just really try not to push so, so far straight down, but more like like this, more like this type of angle. So I want you to literally visualize the two spine, the spine doing this. I think you got to breathe through out. Try to be softer. There you go. How's that feeling? Yeah. It's hard to be soft on your hand, but firm, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But that, but that takes years and, and time, and just doing this. I've seen you do a lot of all this. Just like pressure where your hand works. I've showed this to a lot of different chiropractors and a lot of different manual therapists, and everyone's like, "What the heck did you just do?" And I'm like, "Just manual traction." Like, dude, my back feels amazing. How did you learn that? I don't know. Just do it. I don't know. Just do it.
but come on up. Okay. You'll do it to him, or I'll do it to you, and then you can see what it feels like. It feels the same. Some of these things I don't even remember where I learned. So the first one was the cross where I came here and here. And all I'm doing is just traction. You're not going to get as much movement in here. I'll go to one side, maybe back to the center, maybe back to one side. I would say like his right side needs a little bit more. We could feel like through here. Um, and then I'll come in. I like to start on the middle of the spine. And I'll keep this hand the same. And then I'll just do this. Okay, and then I will get off to one side of the spine. You can do the muscles too. Like, let's just say the person's yeah, having one side, right, right side spine only. Like, you can still do both sides. Okay. It's not going to hurt them. So if I want to find that too. I've never had anybody say, like, like, this didn't feel like it helps them a little bit. Yeah. The, the question is, like, if somebody's really in a lot of pain, do you really want to decompress them aggressively? You might just want to do, like, a quarter like this versus this. You guys, I can go pretty deep. Um, to really get a maximal movement. Does that feel like they feel like dull AP stretch in there? That means you're decompressing the disc. Slacking. So, 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 yep. so your hand's gonna go like here. And now you just lean in and like kind of almost get like the chest. See how yeah, see how you're stuck sticking now? Yeah. Once you get that initial slide, then you stick. And you can move your hand a little closer. Because you'll end up here and then you'll slide up and then you feel that traction right there. I can feel that in the spine. Good. Now this is gonna now do the other one. I like the other one. I think the other one's a little bit better mechanically. Uh, it's better on yourself too, like you don't have to spend much time like that. Yeah. So they're also pulling this down too a little bit. They go... Does that feel similar? Yeah. 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 Yeah
you have both. So, yeah. so I, I complement yeah. them together. I don't just say yeah. you do this, you do this. Yeah. They're separate. Yeah. Um, but that's also my scope of practice. Yeah. Follow your scope of practice. Yeah. Yeah. Always. That's the cool thing about kind of those, like a, it's uh, not it's out of my scope. Like it's referred to someone in the house. Yeah, and, and, and once somebody passes like what I call the functional capacity exam, or or as close to it, uh, which I don't do often because it, they, and we'll talk about this in the future, um, it's just like they're at a point where they can really get better and start getting back to full activity and like sports specific stuff, but they risk a lot of injury. They really need to see a strength and conditioning specialist that can actually help them. 